Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics, in at Tackle Tactics HQ. Today I wanted to talk to you about rigging and fishing, one of the more recent releases from Z-Man, and a plastic that I think is going to be deadly on a stack of Aussie species. It's already caught some reefies, it's already caught some tuna and other pelagics. So it's a very versatile plastic, and that is the 6-inch darters. So the 6-inch darters, as you can see, it's a 6-inch jerkbait style profile. It's got a segmented body which gives it a crazy action and that segmented body being 10 times tougher last tech it's still extremely durable so that tail is going to hold up very well it's got a dolphin style tail on the back end of it as well which it kind of gives the plastic lift and slows the fall as well so it's going to also add to the action of that plastic in terms of creating a unique action that's going to fire the fish up so this plastic was actually designed um, in the US with CA Richardson Captain C.A. Richardson, who guides and also hosts a TV show, uh, so a very cluey angler, and he was trying to imitate those slender bait fish profiles, such as our garfish, our yellowtail pike, even sort of a whiting thinner profile. So those fish, bait fish species that fish love to eat, uh, in a profile and action that's a bit different to what's out there. So that's the Z-Man six-inch darters. So one of his favourite ways to fish it is rigged weedless. So it's got a rigging slot in the belly and it's also got a hook pocket on the top. So it is ideal for weedless rigging. The great thing for us is it's excellent on a weedless jig head. It's also great on a standard jig head. So we'll have a look at weedless first. So on a Chinlox SWS, it rigs and sits beautifully, rigs quick and easy. And you can see on a 6.0 there, we've still got a load of tail off the back end of there. So loads of action in that plastic, loads of movement in that tail. And with that Chinlox SWS, we've got that belly weight. So we've got that really nice slow fall, which just draws the strike a lot of the time when other presentations aren't working. So if you're fishing around timber, weed, lilies, reeds, all that sort of thing, you can throw this bait right up in there and walk it out, twitch it and, and give it that dying bait fish fall. And it's going to be dynamite on barra and jacks and all sorts of species it's also going to be dynamite rigged other ways on mulloway snapper good size flathead heaps of species are going to eat it so rigged weedless like that we can really get it up and work the structure but also a lot of guys chasing kingies and other species as well we'll also weedless rig those plastics we're on that sws with that belly weight so they can still get a good long cast but it really allows them to just work that plastic and have lots of action on the surface. So if they're up there busting up gar or yellowtail pike or other species, then that's a great option. And that rigs really nicely on an 8.0 as well. So for the barra guys that are chasing barra in amongst the timber, lilies, that sort of thing, also a great plastic for skipping because it's got nice flat sides on there as well and that flat top on there as well, so skips really well. So. That's the first way you could rig the darters. We've had lots of people saying, how do I rig the darters? What jig head fits it? Well, there you go. There's a start, a 6.0 and an 8.0 in a Chinlox SWS with that belly weight. So you get that really nice slow natural fall. And you can also just work and dart that plastic around a bit as well. You could also rig it without any weight. So just on a Chinlox in a 6.0 and an 8.0 for those that really want to flick it right up on the weed mats, right up on the lilies and, and reeds and things and just sneak it and twitch it out through there with very little weight working it on the top so you've only got the weight of the hook there so that's a tt lewis chin locks in a 6.0 and an 8 we've also got our chin locks sws 6.0 and 8 and then also our snake locks is another option so if you want to get that plastic down there in amongst the snags and working you can twitch that roll it you know drag it punch it along the bottom and stir those fish up and again 6.0 and 8 hook rigs really nicely in there. And that gives us the, the ability to switch that head weight off and on, change head weights and hook sizes with our chin locks clipping off there so that we can change our hook size or our head weight to suit the conditions that we're fishing. So that's our weedless rigging, absolutely beautiful on a 6.0 and an 8.0 in the chin locks, chin locks SWS, and also that snake locks you get as well. In terms of standard rigging, great thing about this plastic is we can put it on a 4.0. So this is a 5.0 here. 4.0 you can sneak it onto if you really want to fish predominantly flatties around, you know, light jig head, 4.0 hook, flatties up around the weed beds and that sort of thing where the gar often feed. 
That's a 5.0 there, sits beautifully on a 5.0 for those that are chasing snapper, mulloway, flathead, uh, tuna, mackerel, all sorts of different species. So that's on a 5.0 in the Headlocks HD. We can also step up, put it in a 6.0. So 5.0, 6.0. And the cool thing about this plastic is it rigs on a 7.0 as well. So of course, as the hook size gets bigger, it's a little more fiddly to rig it. So 5.0 slides on there beautifully, 6.0, 7.0, you've just got to work it a little bit to get it nice and straight. But once you've got that set up on there, that's a beautiful garfish presentation, yellowtail, pike, that sort of thing. And that 7.0 hook there is a, a mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So it's beautifully, beautifully strong hook. So that's going to stop barra. It's going to stop reefies. It's going to stop big pelagics and that sort of thing. So once you step up to that 7.0, that also gives you a bunch of different head weights as well from those light heads right through to your, your heavy offshore stuff. So pretty exciting that we can fish this on a 5.0, flick it around in the estuaries and that sort of thing, step it up to a 6.0, and then step it up to a 7.0 when we're chasing those barra, uh, big reefies and, and big pelagic species as well. So 5.0, 6.0, 7.0, we can sneak a 4.0 in there if you're looking for a smaller hook, but it does sit beautifully on a 5.0. Because we can rig it on a 5.0 and rig it on a 7.0, it also opens up some other jig head options for us as well. So the big eyes. Our big eyes is in available in both a 5.0 and a 7.0. Looks absolutely beautiful on there. There's, it's got bait fish written all over it there, so that thing's going to get smashed. So the cool thing with the big eyes, you've got that painted head option. So you know you can go for a natural head like these natural heads on the on the natural bait fish colours, or you can change things up and just go with a crazy you know UV reactive head like that chartreuse red eye with a sexy mullet colour in the plastics as well. So again, like most Z-Man plastics out there, well, all Z-Man plastics out there, there's an awesome colour range. So you've got your pearls, you've got your natural baitfish colours like the Smoky Shad and the Shiner. You've got Beer Run, which is an absolute awesome colour. Make sure you check that out. And then you've got those more UV reactive, a uh, bit more Larry colours like the Purple Death and also the Sexy Mullet as well. So there's a bunch of different colours right across that. Light natural baitfish colour, darker colour as a Houdini, and then you've got um, those, yeah, those Larry colours as well to stand out a bit. So, so there you go, from the natural through to the crazy standout UV colour. So that's a half ounce 5.0, and that's a three quarter ounce 7.0 there. So you can see, looks beautiful on those heads, and that's going to be awesome for, you know, fishing flats for pelagic species, tuna, cobia, all sorts of things that are chasing around that long slender bait, those garfish, those yellowtail pike, even those whiting up on the flats as well. So very, very cool presentation. So because we can fit that 5.0 and 7.0 hook as well, that also allows us to rig on the Revlox. So the Revlox is cool. It's a bit of a secret weapon for some of you guys out there. I know you keep telling me Revlox is slaying them. Well, there you go. There's a 5.0 Revlox. So what do we got now? We've got that natural long slender bait fish profile and we've also got that flash and vibration from the Revlox as well. So I can just imagine the guys at, at Harvey Bay and that sort of thing fishing that on the flats and that around Fraser for all sorts of different species. But that's the Revlox in a 5.0 and then also in a 7.0 and you can see it sits nicely on that 7.0 hook as well. So even though it's a long slender plastic, it'll hold a 7.0 hook, no problem. And that's going to stop pretty much most, most things you can hook out there with that big 7.0 hook in there. Brutally strong mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. So there you go. That is the 6-inch darters. Hopefully that demystifies the rigging and fishing of it a little bit. You've got those weedless options where you can get that 6-inch profile, show them something different, get it right up in amongst that weed and lilies and reeds and those sorts of things. Barra are going to absolutely love it on that sort of dying, slow fall twitched out from the weed and twitched out from the lilies. I'm sure you'll find a stack of other species to throw it at as well. And don't forget even the, the kingies and all those sorts of things as well with that belly weighted Chinlox SWS, you can get it out there and twitch it through those schools of kingies and those feeding kingies and, and get stuck into them. Then on our standard jig heads, we've got our Headlox HD, Big Eyes and Revlox to get us started. And look around that 506070 sort of hook to get you going out there and get stuck into a few. And because we're a natural bait fish looking profile, don't forget, scent it up with some bait fish style of scent. So 
I'd probably scent that up with a Procure Super Gel in a sardine pilchard or a mullet or those bait fish style of scents as well. So there you go, that's a quick look at the Z-Man 6 inch darters, how to rig and fish it. Get out there, check it out, get stuck into a few fish. Cheers.